here, hey, right here, right now, you're making me mad. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I want to play airplane. I want to play airplane. I want to play airplane. I want to put my arms out and fly. Your red beard was stop with him. from Clyde Gibbons' barn. Oh, what a haul. He said, take what you want. I said, are you sure, Clyde? He said, it's all junk to me. So I said, all right, Clyde. Uh, all right, take a look. Oh, you go to auctions, yard sales, coal in the dump, and there's crap. There's just crap. Wait, what's this? More crap. <laughs> no. <laughs> linen. This is linen. Gorgeous Irish linen. See how I can tell? Right here, this floating thread you see, that's what makes it damask. And the weight, the weight is straight, and the pattern crisp and clear. See how it's made from and shine? It's tattered here, but all the rest, how beautiful, how fine. Okay. With polish we can tell I love how tarnish melts away Opening to luster And the mark, is there a mark? Yes, the stamp you see right here That's how the craftsman leaves a sign That he was here and made his work So beautiful, so fine This has traveled continents to get here And crossed an ocean of time somehow landed in this box under a layer of grime. I can't abide romantic notions of some day long ago. I want to know what's true, dig deep into who, and what, and why, and when. Until now gives way to there. cartoons and I need real things to draw from because I don't trust memory. But God, this thing is ghastly. You were so ecstatic when you found it and then a yard sale, no worries. In Mr. Gibbons' barn, it all comes back, it all comes back, it all comes back. There's you and there's me.
I just got a call from Eleanor Bachner, Allegheny Historical Society. She was calling about the house tour. Oh, that's wonderful. She's on her way over right now. I don't know what to do. The place is a mess. I'm not dressed. Oh, take a shower. Uh, take a shower. Get yourself dressed. All right. Kids. Kids. An important lady is on her way over here to see the house. Listen to me, please. This is one of those times when you need to do what I say quickly and without any shenanigans. He wants to have a white sweet chairs back in the parlor. Move the G.I. Joe, it can't be on the floor. He wants the dressed in figurines back on the bookcase. A slinky mess is up, the period they
yes, I'd like to speak to Allison Bechtel, the college student. Hey, Dad. Hey, kiddo. How, how's it going? How's your classes? How's the dorm? How's the food? I'm getting used to it. A little homesick? No, it's not that. It's just stupid stuff. Uh, in modern classics today, the professor said that Jake's renewal in Spain and the sun also rises is really an allusion to Jungian rebirth. What? I almost screamed, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. Jake's not a symbol. He is anyway. That book's Romana Clay. I know. And at dining yesterday, I mentioned that my family runs a funeral home and everyone dropped their forks and stared at me like I was Norman Bates. Mm. <laughs> Typical. I probably just need to find the right people. There's got to be some people here who aren't total idiots. Or maybe not. <laughs> uh, one surprising thing you learn when you go away to college is people are not as smart as you want them to be. <laughs> Listen, kiddo, trust your instincts. Um, you know, don't try to impress people who are not worthy of you. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Dad. Good. Um, I've got to head over to the fun home. I have a viewing in 45 minutes. Oh, who died? One of that big clan of hop pruners over in Lakeview. Ah. Have fun. Uh, will do. Hey, kiddo. Remember what I said, okay? I love that. Thanks. Just had a good talk with Dad, and I feel so much better. Underline underline. Uh, I'm going to spend the next four years drawing and reading books, and that's fine. I don't know why I had this insane idea. I had to throw myself out into the world. It's not the world anyway. It's Overland College. Wow. I had no idea what was coming. Sorry, the kids must have been cleaning in here. Uh, so, uh, th this is the one that we spoke about. Cherry, quite popular. All right. Um, here, how about we uh, take these brochures into the office where you can think it over? So, you say we won't see any of the bruises with the IV shoes off of beat up by the end? No, no. We remove all signs of trauma. Uh, don't worry, Pete. She will look very peaceful. Thank you. Thanks, Bruce. Of course. Well, let's go. Uh, no, uh, I'll just take these. Uh, okay, sounds good. Uh, take, uh, take a look, look them over, and uh, give me a call later. Uh, get some rest. Thanks, Bruce. Kids, get out of there. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Where's John? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you do not get in the caskets? We were making a commercial for the fun home. Shh. We're sorry, Dad. We have two bodies. We have lots of work to do. My turn to sign. Who are they? Uh, 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 let's see. Elaine Schwartz and uh, Dwight Johnson. Wait, Benny's dad? Benny's in my class. What happened? He fell off a ladder. Broke his neck. Get this place cleaned up. It's going to be a long night. When you, when, when you break your neck, is it like you're instantly dead? Probably his head was hanging from his neck, and then you couldn't see or eat, and then he died from not eating and running into things. <laughs> That's not right. You guys, we got practice in commercial. Yeah, we messed it up before. Yeah. Give it to me. I want it. It's my turn. <laughs> Can we start from the top? Yeah. Wait, should we call the fun home? We only call that the family. That's right. It's our commercial. We know we want. That's right, too. All right. Come on. <laughs> Places, everybody! Fun home commercial takes seven million billion thousand.
hired him. To do what? To help me out. Where's he from? When we uh, when I went to the lumber yard a few weeks back, he was there working for Arnie. Uh, kid has a truck. He does haul. Arnie said he did a good job, so I. Uh, he said he was looking for more work. Oh, so he's just hauling. Hauling? Other things? I don't know. Oh, so you think he's going to be working what here? What difference then? does it make? Okay, I'm just trying to figure out... Arnie recommended him, okay? Okay, Bruce, I'm just trying to... For Christ's sake! I know, okay? He was a student a few years back. I think I'm bringing some bum around here? Is that the bug up your ass? Jesus. You know what I know that's funny about Perky? Is that it's a car, but they call it the love bug, even though it's a car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> roar! Okay, that's enough. Um, uh, let's go inside and I'll show you that wallpaper. But now! Enough! Uh, Bunch of little monsters. <laughs> I want to know what's true. Did we get What? Why and when? Until now, it's waiting. Oh, nice room. So, uh, this is the wallpaper I was telling you about. William Morris, The Real Deal. God, it's gorgeous. Have you read all these books? I'm, I'm working on it. That is not something I can imagine. Yeah, I remember from class you're uh, not much of a reader. No. I read some good books in your class, though. So. Well, uh, it's my job to uh, make it interesting. It's like a 1950s lesbian pulp novel. <laughs> Their tawdry love could only flourish in the shadows. I'm like, where is Allison, find something to do. I'm practicing. Do you chop it or chop sticks? It's Chopin. Allison, stop bothering me. Have a seat. Take a load off. Oh, no. I'm disgusting. I don't want to spill over your stuff. What are you talking about? It's furniture, for Christ's sake. Go ahead. Sit down. Stretch out if you want. This place is like a museum. <laughs> What's that stuff? Oh, uh, Sherry. You want some? Is it any good? Yeah. Sure. You know, I remember this place. We used to ride our bikes up when we were kids. We have done a shitload of work. I did. By myself, most of it. You must be in pretty good shape, old man. Not too bad. If I say so myself. I might still break a heart or two. I'd be surprised just for a guy my age knows how to do. What? Yeah. I'm glad you're sure. Is that your wife playing the piano? Don't worry about her. Why? 
care package. Uh, I was running out of a granola bar, so it came right in the nick of the time. They still look kind here, like I swear it's made out of paste. Nothing else worth writing home about. R R. Al. I can try these posters. Yeah, we need to find tomorrow night. But I'll do it right now. Really? Just a simple drawing, right? Uh, sure. So, uh, you want to say... We just need some really good no-nukes posters. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Something like... Oh, that's funny. Maybe. <laughs> that's really good. This, this is just quick and <laughs> stupid. No. Who's this in the photo? My dad. That's your dad? Yeah. He looks cool. Did he teach you how to draw cartoons? Oh, <laughs> definitely not. Why is that funny? It's not that it's funny. It's just he's more, I don't know, refined. What does he do? A bunch of stuff, actually. Uh, he's a house restoration, historical society kind of guy. Uh, he's a high school English teacher. Runs our local funeral home. Did you get to be in his class? I was, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was joking. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what I was going to say <laughs> is that everyone in Beach Creek at some point is in my dad's English class. Uh, he's known oh. as a great teacher. So Cool. Yeah. Uh, he sends me books. We talk about them. He sends you books <coughs> to read on top of your schoolwork. Yeah. That's a little weird. Is that weird? Oh, that's really weird. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what kind of books? Like, um... Colette. Yeah. Your father sent you Colette? Yeah, why? I don't know. He's just like the total opposite of my dad. He's just sending you lesbian books? No. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I guess Colette was a lesbian. Oh, she but... was. <laughs> hey, but he sent it to me because he thought I'd been into the whole uh, Paris arts bohemian scene. Uh, yeah, but he didn't send you a book about Toulouse Lautrec. He sent you Colette. I think it's amazing he's cool with you being a dyke. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, he's not? Uh, no, uh, I don't know. Uh, can we talk about something else? Sure. Why? Because I don't know how my parents uh, feel about. I just figured it out myself. Oh. About two weeks ago. With who? With who what? Oh, God. Who <laughs> were you with? Nobody. Nobody! Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh, uh, uh, I was in a bookstore. In a bookstore? <laughs> nice. No! <laughs> two weeks ago, I was downtown, and I wandered into a bookstore. And I picked up this book. Ah, word is out. And I was like, oh, what? It is. This looks interesting. And I was like, oh, these people are all gay. Uh, gay. <laughs> yes. And I was like, oh my god. I'm a lesbian. A dyke. Yes, a dyke. <laughs> and, and I totally flipped out and shoved the book back on the shelf and I left. And then I came back the next day and I bought the book. Uh, and then I came back the next day and bought all the other books in that section. Uh, and then I made myself go to the meeting at the Gay Union. And, and then, uh, and then it's now. Hi. Hello. That's a pretty powerful book.
So, I should probably go. Okay. Will I see you at the union meeting tomorrow afternoon? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be at the meeting. I'll bring those posters. Finish them up. Cool. Bye, Allison. Bye!
what happened last night. Are you really here? Chom, 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 chom. Hi, Joan! Don't wake up, Joan! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, last night. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, last night. Uh, I got so excited, I was too enthusiastic. Thank you for not laughing, though. Well, laughed a little bit at one point when I was touching you and said I might lose consciousness, which you said was adorable, and I just have to trust that you don't think I'm an idiot or some kind of an animal. I never lost control due to overwhelming lust, but I must. Uh, 
well, it, first it was an apartment, it wasn't a house, and I don't remember what color it was. Um, right, only something else about it looked like then. Well, it had a balcony, it had a lovely balcony, and in the mornings, friends of ours would come over and we'd sit and talk and have breakfast. And where do you, where do you live after that? Here. Your grandfather died while we were there, and we moved here.
that you? Oh, hey, Mr. Beckham. Hey, uh, can I give you a lift? Nah, uh, no, I'm not going far. Oh, uh, come on, I'd love to give you a ride. Come on, here. Uh, let me move these groceries. Get in. So, Mark, how's it going? It's your summer. You, you got a job? Uh, yeah, working in the stock room at Cosmos. Good. Good. Keeping on track. That's good. You, uh, you want a beer? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm better. Oh, it's okay. There, there's one in the back.
Okay, so go on to stay.
hello? Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, kiddo. How's it going? Uh, uh, I got your response to my letter. Oh. Oh, uh, good. It, it was a little confusing. Uh, um, uh, just before I forget, uh, did you get that uh, Joyce that I sent you, a portrait of the artist? Yeah, I got it. Well, you better damn well identify with every page. If you don't want to talk to me about my letter, then put Mom on the phone. She's, uh... She's watching something on TV. Will you ask her, please, if she'll talk to me? Sure.
three months. Hello? I don't know who they are. Hey! We're here! Oh my god. What? You described it, but I have no idea. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a lot. Oh. Here. Hey, Mom. Is this your friend? Yeah, this is Joan. Hi, Joan. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for letting me come. This is Beth. Oh. Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, welcome home. The prodigal returns. <laughs> hey, Dad. Uh, hey. This is Joan. Uh, Joan, hey, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, listen, I've got to go down to dinners to pick up some uh, three-quarter inch fly before they close. Hey, you know, you uh, want to go for a drive later? Sure. So, uh, oh, it's lunchtime. Are you either of you girls hungry? Oh, okay. Uh, you? We're fine. Sure? Yeah, we, uh, we stopped at the diner on the way. Uh, but you, should he go? No, I'm fine. We'll have some wine, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Would either of you girls like a glass of wine? And drink? No, thank you, Mrs. Bechtel. Maybe you two would like some time to talk. Oh. Because I'm really tired and I'm still really fight for Mark's week. Okay. Um, I thought I'd put her in the, the lilac room. Sure. Okay. Upstairs. First room on the right. Oh. Take this. Great. Come get me. Whatever. Day. 
off my words. We read books, crawl through Munich at night, drink beer with friends, discuss the places we would go. And he said I understood how the world made him ache. But no. Doing 
when you sent me that collect book, That was fun. 
Coming in? Telephone wire.
the only one here. This is what I have of you. Every so often, 
there was a moment of perfect balance when I soared above him.